Hello, everyone. Wish you all a very warm welcome to the third session of OVAS Patna. The speaker for today is Saurabh Kumar, where he will be diving deep into the challenges posed by a file upload restriction. Saurabh is a security professional, a trainer, and a YouTuber with various experiences live in web app pen testing, network pen testing, red teaming, Android pen testing, and dark web investigation. So over to you, Saurabh. We are delighted to have you today. Hi, Alia, and hi, everyone. Thank you for having a warm introduction about me. Uh, let's start with uh, some exploring file upload vulnerabilities. I hope the screen is visible to all of you. Yes, sir, it's perfectly visible. OK. Uh, we will, uh, as you have shown, uh, the topic name is a deep dive into pen testing, file upload vulnerabilities explored. Here we will be discussing about many pen testing techniques you can approach at file upload parameters. And uh, uh, you might have heard about OAS Patna as well. This meeting is, this session is held by OAS Patna. <clears throat> okay. hmm. This is me, Saurav Kumar, and I have uh, skills in web, web pen testing, network pen testing, red teaming, OSIN, dark web investigation, and all. This is all about me. Let's begin with the session. We will be discussing about file. Where it is? Hmm. File upload vulnerabilities. First of all, we should discuss what exactly is file upload. Uh, I think you might, ha might have heard about file upload parameter and for sure you have heard about it. What is file upload parameter and where you will be able to find it? File upload parameters. File upload parameters you might be getting at, uh, you might be seen many websites where you are able to upload profile pictures, uh, profile pictures, uh, your resumes, and all these are, uh, th this is what I am referring to file upload parameters and etc, etc. And second, wh what type of vulnerability you can approach at file upload parameters? Right now I am using Mosspad and uh, after that I will be going through live practicals on some website. I think I will be approaching on Khadi India. Uh, and file upload parameter is very sensitive parameter and you can approach for vulnerabilities which lies in P1 category. The first one you can go for is XSS. XSS, you can just try to upload SVG files, HTML files, and you can you might be getting XSS pop-ups. Second, you can go for SSS, SSRF as well. Third one, I can say LFI, local file inclusion, uh, by which you, you might be able to see internal files, internal system files, and RC also. RC is one of the most dangerous vulnerability and you can also find RC with uh, exploiting file upload parameter. Then how can we exactly approach to the vulnerabilities? There are two types of uh, mechanism websites used to protect them with uh, file upload vulnerabilities. First one is uh, blacklisting. Uh, first one is blacklisting. I should write uh, what should I use? Website prevention. Website prevention mechanism. First one is blacklisting. And second one is whitelisting. Whitelisting. What blacklisting exactly is? Blacklisting is website uh, blacklist some extension. Like if I am getting a parameter which uh, where I need to upload some profile picture, then website might have blacklisted some extension. Like they might have blacklisted PHP, PHTML, HTML. What extension they exactly don't need? They might have blacklisted all the uh, all that extension. And in whitelisting, what website do is if 
there is a profile upload parameter, then website might have uh, coded like it that the only JPG, JPEG, PNG, that files are accepted. Then there are two types of website, uh, two types of mechanism used by website to prevent their uh, prevent them to upload unnecessary file extensions. Like website in blacklisting, website might have uh, blacklisted PHP, HTML, and the, uh, and many file extension in file listing. They might have been accepting a few file extensions. And so these are two one website using. And uh, what we what we need in file upload vulnerabilities is we need to bypass these two mechanisms. First of all, we need to find out what exactly prevention mechanism website is using to bypass it you we need to find out we need to enumerate what prevention mechanism website is using okay then file extension some we can say black hat file extension some offensive file extension we can try to upload over there is uh, some file extension sorry I'm a little uncomfortable with my setup currently, so you guys have to go with that. Some file extension. We should try. <clears throat> uh, there are a lot of file extension which can cause some vulnerabilities. Like we can try to upload SVG file, which might lead to XSS. We can try to upload HTML file, which might lead to HTML injection and SSRF also. Uh, if we are trying to getting to getting things to any server, then we can also get SSRF as well. Uh, don't confuse. I will be also demonstrating these all things on live website, as I told earlier. And third one will be XML. XML is also a markup language, so we can also try to upload XML file as well. We can also get XXC or uh, SSRF also. And fourth one, PHP. PHP is the most dangerous extension file for, uh, to find out file upload vulnerabilities because we can get RC by uploading PHP file extension or something like ASPX, ASPX. An alternative extension of PHP, there are many alternative extensions like .php, .php1, .php2, till PHP5, .php, and a lot, a lot of PHP extension. And uh, also alternative extension of ASPX, we can find out it uh, by, by Googling it. And, and the last topic we should go for, and the most important topic is, we should, how can we pen test? How can we exactly pen test a parameter? So I should choose a target first. And I am choosing a target, Hard India, because I'm a little familiar with this target. I will be not exactly penetrating the website or penetrating the functionality. You should, I will be just uh, making you familiar how to exactly approach the, uh, approach the functionality. First, let me log in on this website. I think I have been logged in. Okay, I'm logged in. Uh, that is a file upload functionality. Here is, uh, I think, uh, for uploading our profile picture. Let me go over, go over it. First, what should I try is I should try to upload a unusual extension because we can see here is a functionality to upload a profile picture. Then uh, I can just save uh, HTML file. I just create HTML file H1 test. I'm just trying to upload it. Uh, I don't hope uh, I will be successful in that. I'm just trying to upload it. Est dot html. It is already over there. 
home desktop and here it is now what should i do no just, just let me try it without uh, enabling our, my proxy and what we are getting is please select correct uh, correct image uh, in uh, something jpg and uh, all then now our tax is we should bypass the that restriction what uh, the website is using to prevent it we should how can we bypass it there are a lot of techniques like uh, we should do change in content type we should change in uh, extension and let me do it uh, practically desktop and all five test.html and what should i do is to turn on my proxy and try to upload it and here we got the interception okay forward hmm, this is the one what we are getting is the file name what it was the content uh, I, I, what i have written in it and here is the content type website might be uh, watching content type also website might be saying if the content type if there is not uh, content type other than jpg image slash jpg or image slash png it might be blocking us then what we can try to do is we can just try to image slash jpg and uh, i uh, let me forward the request uh, if website if website is vulnerable then we might be getting that the our profile picture is uploaded and uh, if html file is being uploaded then we can approach for uh, ssrf html injection and all forward uh, let me see no password don't match uh, any uh, other error it is showing because the website might be getting confused then it this was the first one what we can try this uh, let me note over it uh, yeah, i might be give it to you test um, this parameter hmm. first one was try to change content type Second one, what we can do is we can try to upload some alternative extension because I have said earlier in blacklisting website can do is like they are uh, they are preventing with some extension and if they are preventing with some extension then there might be possible chances they might have uh, ignored some extension like if they have blocked uh, extension like php dot if uh, we are trying to upload dot php extension they are blocking us there might be a lot of possibility that web developer might have done any mistake and they might have forgot to blacklist extension like dot php1 dot php2 or dot html then what we can do is just try to save a file uh, again uh, let me try it again save mm -hmm. test test dot php phtml let me try to upload phtml i hope that php extension also be blocked by website let me try to upload dot phtml if i am trying over here if website is using blacklisting feature then it might be uh, we might be getting success in this let me try to upload and we don't need uh, to turn on proxy currently because we will just uh, we are just playing with uh, extension phtml phtml is alternative extension of php <laughs> hmm? yes password don't match again website is showing other errors and uh, third one we can approach uh, i have said uh, try alternative extensions 
we can uh, you you can get alternative extension by google just googling if you are uh, trying to upload image uh jpg png there are many extension if you are trying to upload uh, any 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 file you can just uh, go for uh, google and you can try to check alternative extension alternative extension like eg php1 and there are a lot of extension for php if you uh, as i mentioned earlier if you are able to upload php files successfully then there are a lot of chance that you can get rc uh, rc with that and rc is the one of the harmful vulnerability html third one we can try uh, we can try to test it we can try to url encode our files uh, file name or uh, in bobsuit or in just uh, uh, during just saving the file how can we do that use url encoding i'm writing it because i i might be giving it to you as well where is my firefox there html let me turn on my proxy Uh, here is the request what we can do is we can we have tried uh, for content type and uh, we have not got any success uh, because website might not be approaching prevention with content type then website might be approaching their uh, prevention with file name also then what we can try is we can try for url encoding uh, for dot i think url encoding is percentage 2e encode as url uh, this is bobsuit feature we can also use that it percentage to e then what we can do is we can just replace dot with this url encoding and you can go for double or triple url encoding with that and i will select it and we are getting file test dot html then we can just forward the request if website will be uh, will be seeing that if there is dot html then it is blocking then here uh, we can see that there is not any dot html here is percentage to e st, uh, dot uh, percentage to e html and in backend it might be getting decoded again then we might be getting uh, success with this technique mm. okay the website i'm not hoping for any success so i am ignoring these errors password don't match uh, i'm just uh, trying to get uh, trying to show you how can you approach uh, we have discussed three techniques url encoding you can try with uh, with uh, url encoding i have discussed you can try with rfi as well upload uh, try for path traversal how i can it is a most in, most interesting one turn my intercept on <clears throat> uh, here is a file what we are doing currently is many time website might be doing what they might be doing it if the file is uploading in this path let me try that over here if file is being uploaded in this path like uh, slash upload slash upload slash whatever file we are trying to upload dot uh, html if uh, if website is doing it and there is a lot of possibility that website might be blocking 
HTML files in this, this directory. Then what we can do is we can try to upload in another directory. And uh, you know how can we change directory in Linux or in Windows as well. We can just uh, use dot dot slash, right? Then what we can do is just uh, add dot dot slash over here, dot dot slash over here, and forward the request. And let me see the result. I'm not hoping that we are getting a successful result. I'm just showing you as I mentioned earlier again and again. And as uh, in the last technique, I don't think it is the last one. Let me remember. Uh, we can we can uh, play with extension like uh, change extensions like we can try for uh, this uh, you can uh, this you can uh, try it yourself i will be not trying it eg mm, dot php dot png you can just add dot png after that because the website is accepting dot png file then you can try to upload try to change the name with dot png add uh, after that then you can do it uh, and you can use semicolons I'm making a just short note, not a detailed one. So I am using short forms also. Semicolons, null byte. Hmm. What we can do is we can try to change our file name like this. Let me try it. Hmm. Let me get the request. Test.html. And what we can try is we can just uh, change the file name like this for uh, colon like this wait we can add semicolons so we can uh, uh, like this no, no, no. Mm -hmm. dot png like this it might be seeing like if png is available then we can get success so we have added semicolon and semicolon denote the last of that line so we might be getting success with it also and we can use null byte uh, null byte is what null byte is percentage zero zero null byte is percentage zero zero on what exactly it is let me actually percentage zero zero null byte is what it has no value it is like null it has no value then if we are adding any null by if we are adding null byte character in the file name then uh, website might be ignoring that it is uh, null it will be no value but it we it can help in bypass uh, percentage zero zero it can help in uh, uh, it can help in uh, us in penetrating the uh, functionality a website might be uh, watching that if uh, if we are getting dot html then it might be blocking but here it here is not a case here is percentage zero zero also then we might be getting success with it we can try to add it uh, after uh, dot also we can add it over here also we can try to add uh, somewhere like here and uh, uh, it depends on you you can try for semicolon as i mentioned and these things you can try for it like you can try like this also test dot aspx if you are trying to upload aspx xps percentage zero zero then dot jpg we might be getting success with it also exploit uh, test dot asp and i as i told dot uh, png we can try these steps to bypass our file upload functionality and how we can try for rc is we can just uh, let me open some port sugar lab there are a lot of uh, resources over it
remote code execution via web shell upload. Then you can have exactly the problem is to solve the lab, upload a basic PHP web shell and use is to accelerate the constant of, uh, content of home college secret. What we uh, what they are telling us is to we we need to get content of this file. Uh, there might be a file in uh, a secret file in Carlos home Carlos directory. We need to extract it, extract it, whatever pronunciation it is. Then they are using this code. We can also use this code. This code is telling it is a PHP code. Uh, file get content. It is trying to get the file content of this secret file. Then we can this code. Uh, this we can use uh, code like this and uh, there is also content type restriction bypass path travels or what i have mentioned uh, extension blacklist by password okay mm, i have not mentioned it i am not uh, much aware with it blacklist there are a lot of techniques on port sugar lab also then you can go for it as well and i have told for sbg you can just use uh, access payload from sbg let me show you sbg access payload You can get all type of bullet if you are approaching for SSRF, then just search uh, HTML SSRF payload uh, and just save it in your, uh, save it, it as a HTML and just try to upload it and show your uh, bypassing skills over there. Uh, like this is the one, then we can just copy it. SVG is extension uh, for image and it is uh, of uh, XML. If I just save it as test.svg and uh, if I will be double clicking it, test.svg, uh, let me open it in Chrome. Then we will be getting a pop up because it is a access payload. We will be getting pop up because it is a access payload. Then you just try to upload it on your uh, target parameter. test.spg we can try to upload it on uh, our parameter and let uh, so all all methods what you can because we are not available uh, we are not aware that how website is uh, preventing themselves then we can we should try all the method what i have shown and any additional method what you are uh, aware with that then you can try all the methods uh, this is what you can try uh, with SVG. You can try HTML SSRF payload, HTML SSRF payload, HTML SSRF payload, and you can get all the payload in payload of all things. I hope we will be getting the payload what we need. SSRF payload. You can search it and you will be getting that thing. And uh, I am one more thing, it is quite interesting. Um, we can try for metadata, uh, meta, uh, we can try to upload a, a PNG file with adding some malicious metadata. How we can do that is just uh, Let me add, uh, let me go for any image. Yes. Mm, it is a ping zone, okay. CD, CD desktop. Hmm. Uh, here is our. Uh, how we can approach for metadata is what exactly meta I should introduce you what exactly metadata is. Metadata is every any 
photo, uh, any picture or any video video as well have metadata metadata is a hidden data what we can uh, we can't see just uh, watching the image we can see it via many tools which uh, many metadata viewer tools and uh, we have having some tools in linux as well exif tool that is a exif tool that we can use uh, a gift tool. If I am trying to get that tool, uh, use that tool on the downloaded picture, then have a metadata is uh, uh, these are the metadata, whatever. Um, there are a lot of chance that if the photo is uh, a raw photo that uh, just clicked, then we, we might, there are a lot of chance we might be getting exact location from where the photo was clicked, the mobile num the mobile from which that was clicked lot of uh, details about the picture then what i am what i am trying to do here is we will just add a metadata with malicious code like a, a gif tool then uh, a meta artist a meta name artist hyphen a r t i s t with some sort of malicious code malicious code uh, like this script okay, alert okay i have not specified the file and we have created the file uh, this is uh, download.png uh, and we have added the payload and that's it now we can we should go for q a session Uh, thank you, Saurabh. Thank you so much for the session. So, uh, anyone, if you have any questions, please unmute yourself. Hey, Saurabh. Hi. I was asking, uh, you were showing we can get uh, LFI or RFI, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, file uploads. So, uh, mm -hmm. what's, the, uh, what's the main difference? Um, uh between lfi and rfi and like how we can achieve it with image file uploads or something as i mentioned we can achieve what i have told you that we can get all the payloads from google just google lfi uh payloads whatever like uh, we uh, there are a lot of chance if we are getting we we are getting to upload php file successfully there uh, we can approach for lfi then you can get uh, file, you can get that payloads from google yeah, so like that's what I asked, like on which functionalities we can upload a file which will lead to LFI because uh, LFI needs to get executed in backend, right? So that's what mm -hmm. I was saying. So which you can which if you are get, if you are get any file upload functionality which might be getting into backend, then you can try for uploading like if website is uh, uh, being made on uh, ASP.NET, you can try for ASPX. If your website is made on uh, Python, then you can try for uh, somewhere extension.py like uh, or whatever extension. If your website is made on uh, PHP, then you can try for uh, extension like PHP, PHP 1, PHTML. And with the code, you can get on Google because I am not remembering exactly that code. Uh, no problem. I was asking what's the difference between LFI and RFI and like how how, RF how can you determine like what is LFI here in file upload? RFI, what, RFI is what I have shown. Uh, we can try to upload parameter with, uh, upload a file with uh, like path travel cell. Uh, what I have added dot dot slash, it was RFI. And LFI, what we can try to get uh, internal file contents, like we are getting an ETC password content, then that is LFI. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yes, with us. So I was asking you. Uh, you said uh, metadata accesses. So mm -hmm. I was asking, isn't it self access? Self accesses. How can we send it to victim? And what is the severity of this uh, bug? Can you tell? See, see, what I have shown you is. It is a self access but if we are uploading on like it is a vulnerability on Instagram and we are uploading in Instagram profile picture, it is uh, obviously public, then that is a stored access. 
and uh, we can try for uh, uh, vulnerability like LFI, RFI, PHP, uh, uh, sorry, RC with that. Because SVG file also leads to uh, severe vulnerability. Not only XSS, we can try for severe vulnerability also. So I was asking Sorry. if we submit this report to a bug bounty program, they will mark this as self assessment and informational. So no, no, how no. can we? It's on. It's on. Uh, it's all upon you. How you are uh, showing them on how you are. Uh, are you chaining the vulnerabilities? Are you getting any high severity vulnerability? Not only XSS. Yes, obviously, if you, we are reporting this vulnerability, this will mark as uh, informative or, uh, or uh, P4, P5. But if you are trying to accelerate it with SSRF, then you might be getting, there are a lot of chance to getting success in it. Okay. And there are Can a lot you... of reports we, uh, what? I was asking, can you tell more about uh, content type, what content type we should focus and uh, how? Content type, see, if uh, there is uh, a functionality where we should uh, upload image, then change content type to whatever file you are uploading. Just change content type to image slash PNG, image slash JPG, because there are a lot of chance they might be accepting only that, uh, that content type then you can use that. If your website is accepting PDF, then you go for uh, PDF content type, or Google it, just Google it, and you will be getting that. Uh, hi, sir, this is Tarun. Sir, let us- uh, Hi, hi Tarun. Uh, sir, let us suppose that one website is accepting only .pdf extension, okay? okay. So now mm -hmm. I am having a shell file and I am converting that extension to .pdf, like shell .pdf. Okay. Whether it is a successful attempt, if it is accepting. Mm -hmm. I didn't get your no. question. No, question means like some website is there which is taking only .pdf, like whitelisting is there, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I am having one shell file, suppose .php, okay. that extension was earlier .php. Now okay. I have converted and I have changed it to shell .pdf. And now I okay. uploaded whether it hmm. whether you count it as a successful attempt or not because it is accepting it is a, as a PDF. I have converted that extension into PDF. Hmm. But whether it See, whether the that, will work that that depends on the PDF viewer because if that is executing there uh, if uh, they are using a vulnerable PDF viewer there are a lot of chance you might be getting and uh, the, uh, you might have heard about uh, accesses through PDF and uh, there is a malicious PDF file if you are trying to upload and a lot of websites are vulnerable and one of my friend got recently bounty I think three hundred dollars with that. Okay, so if that see then it depends on server side how that programming is. If they are reading the yes. file and executing them, then it is a vulnerability, right? Like this, Yes, say. exactly. Yes, obviously it is a vulnerability because we are getting cell or uh, pop-ups. So then, uh, how they can prevent it? Like they have to scan that file with some. No, they they need to update that PDF view or what they are using, or uh, they just uh, if we are getting accesses. They should add some headers like XSS protection header, content type, something like that, or uh, they can uh, uh, prevent in that their code. Okay. So we truly appreciate uh, Saurav for you joining in today and sharing all the tips and tricks. You know, your tips and tricks are gonna help all of us. So thank you once again. Thank you everyone for joining in today and uh, stay tuned for the next OAS Patna session.